Roman officer. You know, the first thing that Jesus was actually preaching and repeating was his message not too long ago about how to love your enemies. We talked about this weeks ago, right? Now, the second message that Jesus was now preaching and repeating is the message of do not judge. This was actually a message that we find in Matthew chapter 7, verse 1, where Jesus says, do not judge others and you will not be judged, all right? So by the way that he was handling and dealing with the centurion, he was actually repeating that message of how we should not judge. But get this, now he's not just preaching it unlike before, you know, on the Sermon of the Mount. Now he was putting it into action because you see, my dear friends, we are not called to just be hearers of the word. No, we're called to also be doers of the word. In fact, Jim says this, don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, you are only fooling yourself. So quickly type in the comment box, I am a doer. Come on, I'm a doer. I'm not just a hearer, but I am a doer. Amen. Anyway, let's continue with the story. Matthew chapter 8, verse 8, it says, But the officer said, Lord, I am not worthy to have you come into my home. Just say the word from where you are, and my servant will be healed. And then verse 10, When Jesus heard this, he was amazed. Turning to those who were following him, he said, I tell you the truth, I haven't seen faith like this in all Israel. You know, this story was absolutely controversial and unheard of during those times. Why? Because Romans were the arch nemesis of the Jews. In their eyes, you know, they were the enemies. But instead of judging this Roman officer for countless periods of abuse, persecution, and oppression, you know what Jesus did? Jesus saw the goodness in his enemy. That's right. He saw the goodness in the heart of that Roman centurion. So by his actions, he was actually proclaiming and preaching this message that, hey, I'm different. We're different. My kingdom is different. And if you're going to belong to my kingdom, here's what you need to do. You need to see the goodness in your enemy. You need to see the goodness of God in every person. Can I get an amen? Amen. So Jesus, once again, by by his actions, he was preaching, do not judge, all right? That's the second thing that he was saying. Here is the third thing that Jesus was preaching. By his actions, Jesus was preaching again the lesson that not everyone who calls me Lord, Lord. Let's go back to that verse. In chapter 7, verse 21, Jesus says, Not everyone who calls out to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter. Remember our talk last week, how we said that the Jews believed that out of all the nations in the world, they were the ones who were closest to God, like they were God's BFFs, you know, they believed that they were holy, that which means to be set apart, to be special, to be unique, to be one of a kind. Let me just say this to you, my dear friend, be careful that you would think that your faith is more superior than the faith of other believers, all right? Remember that Jesus always has a way of humbling the proud and exalting the humble. In fact, Jesus, uh, Matthew says this, those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves, they will be exalted. You see, that's exactly what happens in this story. Jesus said that the Roman officer, he had greater faith than the Israelites. I mean, that was a devastating blow to the religious Jews. That was like a big uppercut, a big left hook to the, to the, to the uh, Israelites. Let me explain why, all right? How many of you have ever watched the movie Toy Story 1? Right? Toy Story 1. Hands up. Virtual hands up if you've seen Toy Story 1. If in case you haven't seen it, that means that it's time for you to crawl out of that cave that you are in. <laughs> I mean, there's already Toy Story 4, all right? But let me give you the gist in case you haven't seen it. Toy Story 1, this is where we eat and Woody, all right? Toy Story 1 is about Woody, all right? But his all-time favorite toy is a cheddar Woody. And for many years, Woody was Andy's favorite toy. You read the only Woody? got to sleep in the bed while all the other animals they slept in the toy chest. Whenever Andy, for example, would go on a trip 